A new documentary series revisits the case of a teenager found hanging in Silver Spring back in 19... 86. His death was ruled a suicide, but family members still have questions. News Force Darcy Spencer has the story. Keith Warren was just 19 years old when his body was found hanging from a tree in Silver Spring. His death was quickly ruled a suicide. That was in 1986. This week, questions about how the case was handled will be raised in a new docuseries called Uprooted. Sherry Warren is Keith's sister. It means the world. I mean, it means like I'm not out here by myself anymore. Sometimes you feel lonely in a spite, and I have a whole team now. Sherry and her mom never believed that Keith committed suicide. They say there was no autopsy. Evidence was lost or destroyed. Their mom fought for justice till the day she died. All she wanted was her voice to be heard. All she wanted was someone to listen to her. All she wanted was someone to, to acknowledge the fact that there is something wrong here. Avril Speaks is a director of Uprooted. She'll be at the AFI in Silver Spring Wednesday evening for a public screening and panel discussion about the series. She says the case has many questions and red flags. A black 19-year-old in a white suburb hanging from a tree and rule it a suicide. That makes no sense to me. So. Police and prosecutors say the death has been investigated many times over the years, but unless there is new evidence, there's nothing more they can do. Sherry says she wants her brother's death to be reclassified as either undetermined or a homicide. In the uprooted trailer, some cast doubt on the suicide ruling. The story didn't make sense then. It doesn't make sense now. Speak says George Floyd's murder put a renewed spotlight on the push for justice and truth. This particular story fits right in line with that in terms of, you know, police accountability and, and how they're treating particularly black families and black citizens and black death. Montgomery County Council member Hans Reamer is supporting a new investigation and plans to attend the screening. So it is, unfortunately, a vivid example of a justice system that doesn't work for everyone. And I think it should inspire us to continue to press for change. Sherry says she's doing this not just for her mother and brother, but for other families going through the same painful journey. But just keep persevering because the system wants to deflate you. It wants to make you go away. Don't go away. Don't give them what they want. Keep fighting. Speak says the series should give people hope to keep fighting systemic injustice. And it makes the point that Keith Warren's life mattered. Darcy Spencer, News 4. Police released a statement to News 4 saying no new evidence has been introduced in recent years and the medical examiner's office has declined to reopen the investigation.